Start learning the guzheng first, and um, uh, during my uh, middle school, uh, attend to the National uh, Taiwan Arts University for uh, studying majoring in guzheng. Okay, that's how I get into the school, and I always uh, interesting for the guqing. But during my age, my my age that time, the guqing is not that popular instrument. Uh, in the world or in Taiwan. So it's really hard to find a teacher for learning this instrument. And guzheng and guqing is really easy to mix up with these two instruments. Very fortunate, my teacher is, a, uh, one of my teacher is a guqing player, really uh, well-known guqing player. And once uh, he, uh, she asked me if you want to learn guqing <laughs> because no one's take the guqing as major. Students always asking for guqing, and all the Chinese people always asking for guzheng. This is so strange uh, situation mm -hmm. for me, like the cultural <laughs> crash. And I let I found okay, a lot of people is American people is really interesting, interesting for the uh, old Asian Chinese instrument. They like the song. The uh, guzheng is history in China is about twenty five hundred years, and this one is a uh, three thousand. Okay, so just the five hundred years different. And guqing is older than guzheng, but guzheng is a more popular instrument because that's the folk art. So you can see the uh, some string because the guzheng uh, also in uh, export to. Japan, so we know the Japanese kodo mm -hmm. is very well in American society, and also we know uh, less probably is a Korean kayakong, and that's uh, all the similar instrument. Is the root is from the guzheng, mm -hmm. so guzheng is a more popular instrument. But for guqing, it's kind of uh, it's not a folk music in our our uh, culture. It's the like um, scholar instrument, so that's not uh, playing the uh, public. Okay, this is for uh, people how they a person they want to calculate their self. So it's like a really tiny space, probably just a play for 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 yourself, and then play for the uh, good friend, couple friends, or just bring the instrument to the nature. So this is another uh, entertainment instrument. instrument. But the guqing is usually just accompanied with the uh, vertical, vertical fruit. fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the shell. We say the shell. So shell is not a lot of people play either. You can't get guqing music on Amazon or. You can, but you it's can. really limited. There's yeah, one, there's just like two, probably a two. There's like two CDs. Yeah. Say the gallery because we don't want to play it like a recital or a mm -hmm. student recital something because that's not not the uh, idea for perform mm -hmm. it's for sharing the uh, guqing the style is like uh, we say the gathering in Chinese we say ya ji yeah. y a j i mm -hmm. ya ji that means uh, some uh, uh, scholars goes to get comes together and then uh, share their qing music their poetry their uh, painting, calligraphy, like a salon. I think it's more like a salon. And we has the uh, students playing, and then the second part we uh, uh, 
have a talk on something. Has a talk with, with the uh, some Chinese cultural scenes, yeah. uh, painting, calligraphy, and uh, philosophy, or mm, even tea ceremony. <laughs> Putin is so individual. Uh, even every students I teach, but they have their own voice. Yeah, that's uh, how we, we need to train the student. Yeah, not just like a copycat, copy the teacher. Mm -hmm. So you need to have your own voice. Right. So that's we uh, use the gallery to share the, the music. The, the idea is uh, you play the qing, just like you do the tai chi or you do the gong fu, right? Is you try to make yourself nice, calm, yeah. or better, or you become the better person. Yeah to all the students or my, my experience it's like a friend mm -hmm. you talk to a friend you use right. your uh, instrument like a friend you talk to friend every day you like this friend so that will be the forever <laughs> music is funny things is they don't have uh, they just give you just like a tabular it's a notation it's without the rhythm and notes so which means if you got the music you can do re restructure the phrasing mm -hmm. or the notes you couldn't move okay <laughs> but the, the the rhythm because the rhythm is the most important for the music try to restructure for our own voice we need to really uh, take a look at a couple of different <laughs> school, like a research, yeah. so you can see the change because we all know the score is what period, what years, mm -hmm. okay, like uh, 200 years ago or 100 years ago, they probably change something. So we try to figure out the things and then we can pick up the something we like and then restructure the, the song. You're saying Adam is now at that point and how long have you been studying together? <laughs> Long time, eight years now? I, I really amaze the American uh, students. Uh, it's all, always got the really creative things. Mm -hmm. Wonderful to play with Adam. Sometimes I can learn something from him. Yeah, that's, that's what I want, want to do because the arts is uh, not the, not the, uh, like a uniform, right? This should be the it's for yourself. Right. <laughs> this is the arts, the fun parts to do. Too personal. Yeah, because you draw the lines differently. So just like a calligraphy or your handwriting, everyone got a different handwriting. And but you hear the Irish fiddle player, right? Irish fiddle. You can slide wherever you want with dancing, with singing. The sitar. Yeah, sitar. Yeah. Yeah. Or Lots you of hear the slide and expression. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a, the, the bring a different mood or something. Yeah, yeah this is not very lots of interpretation. Class. Lots of room for interpretation. <laughs> In our ethnomusicology book, there was like two paragraphs on Gucci, and like that was it. And uh, then I met a guy named Mitchell Clark, who was working at the MFA who was putting together some kind of curation and then I asked him if he knew any teachers and he knew, he said there was only one in the area. <laughs> and then I emailed her and then I got an instrument from her friend in Hong Kong who's an instrument maker. <laughs> Memorizing the pieces is not, is not easy. That's the only thing I find tiring. <laughs> and you do have to memorize the um, Yeah, for performance. Aesthetically, too, like people don't, it's not yeah, good you don't, to, you don't you have don't. a sheet music. Right. Just, right. Yeah. I think some of the Gucci music is just like you, you read the, 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 like a Chinese painting is a, like a big scroll. It's nothing repeating sometimes. Yeah. Or they just have some motive repeating. But everything is just a slightly different, slightly different, or they change yeah. the mood or mm. idea. So it's sometimes hard to memorize it. Yeah, challenge part is sometimes you want to explain the things is really Chinese philosophy because mm. my English is not that good as can like a professor <laughs> say something. Mm.